Hey guys, it's Eric here with another uh, bourbon review with Bourbon on the Rise. Um, tonight, I got a Blanton's Gold Edition for you that I'm going to be reviewing. Um, sitting at 103 proof. This is actually one of one of my favorite Blanton's, that's for sure. Um, I have an open bottle here. I've had it open for about a year. Um, so it's been sitting open for a while, obviously with the cork on, but it's been you know opening up for a good year. You know, I go to it here and there because at its price point, that's not something you want to sip on every day. Um, looking at about $105 I paid for this. Um, also, you cannot pick this up here in America. Uh, if you know anybody who travels to the islands like St. Martin, St. Thomas, they could probably pick up a bottle for you. If you happen to be going on a cruise anytime soon, you know, Royal Caribbean has them on the cruise ship. You know, they offer them for sale. You can bring back like six of them with you if you like. They're like... 85 90 bucks on the ship or you can find them you know at your destination but you cannot pick this up at the store anywhere in america because it's not distributed here but i went ahead and poured me some here and i'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know what i think give you my honest opinion on this you know compared to the single barrel you know i pick up the same characteristics on the nose i'm picking up the sweetness vanilla caramel 100 percent vanilla and caramel a little bit of oak no with this at 103 proof i'm not picking up a strong ethanol scent i'm not picking up you know anything overwhelming on the nose maybe some dried fruits perhaps but you know really mellow on the nose really really nothing overpowering at all just a lot of sweetness. Some cherry, maybe. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a give it a go. Alright, so compared to the single barrel, this is more drier. It's got, it's got some dryness to it. You get the initial vanilla and that oak, and there is some sweetness to it. It's got like a like a nice smooth dry finish. Don't get me wrong, it's really smooth. It's definitely smooth. It's got a, but it's drier than I had imagined it. It's very good. For you Blanton's lovers out there, this is worth picking up. Um if you can get your hands on it, of course. But it's got and I'm getting that vanilla and that caramel you know, on the palate. And it's this nice, sweet, sweet, there's a lot of sweetness to it. Some dried fruits, maybe a lot of oak, which is, which isn't pretty good. It's a pretty good profile. It really is. I'm getting a little spice to it, a little rye. It is a little spicy on the back end. You know, as it, as it like tapers off, that spice hits you. It's almost like a, like a pepper. It's really not bad though. It's exceptionally smooth. It has a really, it, it's not a real long finish. You kind of get that sweetness right on the palate. And then the second that sweetness goes away, that spice starts to kick in. And then th that's it. Like it finishes out. It doesn't like linger on forever and ever. Which is, which is interesting for Blanton's. Because the single barrel, which I'll do a review on as well, you know, seems to have a longer finish. But sitting at 103 proof, this doesn't have nearly, it doesn't, it feels like you're sipping on a 90, 95 proofer to me. Like it, it doesn't really have that strong burn or anything like, like a hundred and something proof would, would normally do. If you like Blanton's and you like Rise, this might be for you. Um, I just get I get a lot of spice on the back end of this, so if you're really into that, if that's what you like, you like that burn, you like that spice, then this you will definitely enjoy this. But at the same time, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to talk it bad or good. I'm just at the same time, this is it's really smooth. This is not your cheap everyday pickup you know whiskey this is this is exceptionally good 
I don't want to like give it a bad name or anything. I, I like it, you know. And out of a hundred, if I had to give it a rating out of a hundred from zero to one hundred, you know, one hundred being the best, of course. Um, I would give it in the 90, 90 range. I'd say like a ninety. I'd give this. Oh yeah. Got some like tobacco in it too. That's that's what I'm picking up now. That's what it is. It's like a tobacco. It's drier than than I'm typically used to when I when I sip on bourbons. Um, it's not a bad dry. It's just different. This is definitely different than your average single barrel Blantons. This is definitely different. Um, if you can come across it, it's worth picking up and giving it a try. It's so smooth that you almost won't even know you're drinking bourbon. And I, I mean, I'm serious. The first sip, you get that initial burn. From there on out, it's almost like you're sitting there sipping on, I don't know, sipping on anything. But it's just nothing like, like you would imagine it to be at 103 proof. So... You know, definitely pick it up. This is something you could sip on every single day when you go home from work. But honestly, at 105 bucks, you'd go through a bottle in no time. And that just wouldn't be really good for the wallet. So I don't suggest that. Very, very good. Currently, I have like two or three bottles. You know, one of my friends travels there a lot. We do some trades. So I pick my bottles up that way. Um... I'm going to be going on a cruise next year. I'm going to go pick up some of these, some of the straight from the barrel. I have some of those too. Um, that's pretty much the only way you can get it unless you order it online. Um, but a lot of these uh, online sites that have it out overseas won't ship it here to America. Depending on the state you live in, you might be able to pick one up. You might be able to get one shipped to your door, but it's like a hit or miss thing because I've tried and I haven't been successful with that. So... Um, if you if you happen to find it online and it gets shipped to your door and you actually receive it, go ahead and in the comments just drop what site you use so everybody can know where to buy it at. Um, make sure you like and share and subscribe to my channel. And I'll be doing a lot more reviews. If you have anything in mind you would like me to review, let me know. Because I have a lot of bottles and I plan to do many, many reviews. So you let me know. All right, guys, you have a good rest of your weekend, and signing off.